Natural disasters are events that affect everyone, not just in our community, but in the entire world. We recognize that we cannot stop them from happening, but we can reduce their impact by taking actions locally. The Hazard Mitigation Plan is a document that we develop and update every five years. Its focus is natural hazards. We identify the hazards that affect us locally. We do a risk assessment on those hazards and we identify the mitigating actions that we are taking to reduce the impact of those hazards. Stormwater Services is involved in the, the county's all hazard mitigation plan because flood is one of our most common, if not the most common, risk and vulnerability in terms of natural hazards in the area. So one of the things that we do to make our community more resilient for flooding is we initiated a floodplain buyout program. And it's been in existence actually for the last 16 years now where we began buying homes in the floodplain and businesses that rep repeatedly flood or at increased flood risk. One of the new hazards in our plan this year are solar events and that includes radio blackouts, geomagnetic storms and radiation storms. Um, a citizen brought solar events to our attention at one of our public meetings. He's done extensive research and was able to provide us enough information to talk to the federal government. We actually talked to NOAA and determined that this would be a good hazard for us to include in our plan. When I first read about the potentially catastrophic damages from a hundred year geomagnetic storm, I honestly thought it was some kind of prepper survivalist paranoia. But when I read a highly technical research document that predicted North Carolina would lose 37% of its electrical capacity and North, South Carolina would lose 75%, I decided I needed to get involved and find out more and help spread the word. Some of the hazards that are addressed in the plan in addition to flooding and solar events include hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, drought, and winter storms. The plan is available to the public on Emergency Management's website at charmecem.net and there is a tab for hazard mitigation. You can see the 2010 plan as well as the 2015 update.